So Rick, how long has the baby powder industry or talcum powder industry known about the connection between talcum powder and ovarian cancer? Well, there are many baby products that have talc in them. Some have cornstarch, which is not a carcinogen, but many of them have talc. And in the 1970s, there was a notable study that found on pathological studies that many women had talc fibers in their ovaries. And by 1982, a scientist had gone to Johnson & Johnson and asked them to put warnings on their talcum powder, baby powder, and they refused. Um, and then by the 2000s, uh, the National Toxicology Program, which is a division of the United States Health and Human Services, categorized talc as a carcinogen. And then by 2006, the talc mining industry put out material safety data sheets to all the customers warning about dangers of cancer from talc use. So talcum powder has now been designated as a carcinogen? There's a consensus that it is a possible carcinogen. The language of each organization is a little different, but uh, it's clearly associated with ovarian cancer after repeated use of baby powder. And, it's, and talc is also well connected with some lung diseases. That's been known for a long time. But this connection between talc and ovarian cancer, which is the worst form of gynecological cancer for women, uh, is the new thing that everyone's talking about. Thank you.